This is Rob with Precision Zone, and in this video, we're going to be going through the uh, new machine that we bought, this Herco that uses Yaskawa Electronics. Before we start testing products on this machine, then we want to make sure the machine is working properly. So the next thing that we're going to be testing is the spindle system on the cables and the motor to make sure that they're not grounded. And then once they're not grounded, the guys can go in here and check the spindle drive. The machine has been locked out and tagged out. I've already verified that the incoming power to the drive is, or the incoming power to the machine is not there. Always be careful of any DC buses when you're working with drives. And always double and triple verify that the power has been turned off. You can't check enough times versus one less time and get hurt. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take our multimeter and we're going to check it, set it to the AC function. And we're just going to tr triple check between U, V, and W on the output of the drive. And we have nothing there, so the drive is safe to work with. So let's go ahead and disconnect U, V, and W. Okay, so now that U, V, and W is disconnected. You want to take some type of solvent and make sure that the leads are nice and clean. We're going to use our insulation tester, our MIGGER, and we'll make sure we have a good ground. I'm using the machine ground here. Run it on the thousand volt setting and we're going to check W and we're grounded grounded okay so we have less than 300 mega ohms okay so we know we have a problem somewhere something's grounded so let's go ahead and move on to the motor and we'll check the motor before we go into checking this winding selecting contactor so we know we have a problem so we're going to go ahead and disconnect the cables so we can figure out whether it's between the cable and that contactor or if it's the actual motor. Okay, so let's make sure we get the lead wires away from the terminal block. <coughs> and we'll go ahead and check the motor. So it looks like we're at 1280s, 13, it's climbing. Okay, so we're looking on the same route there, we're passing. So it looks like the motor's good, so our problem is somewhere with the cables. Okay, so we know we don't have a problem with the motor, so there's definitely some problem between where it makes the connection with the drive and where it makes it the connection with the motor. And like I said, we have this winding selector contactor, and we're gonna go over in a later video more in detail about how to check the megs in and around this. So please look forward to that video. As always, if you have any questions about this video or any of our products or services, you can reach us at precisionzone.com. We're always more than willing to help. So thanks for watching this video. And we perform free motor evaluations and we provide 12 month warranties on all of our motor repairs. Thanks for watching.